My name is Linda and I am 61. I have breast cancer and had my left breast removed, then had two chemo treatments with three more treatments to go. I'm starting to lose my hair, my scalp hurts and itches a lot. How do I manage this severe itching? Oh, this is very common, but not this severe as you described, Linda. It's um, it's not unusual when the, the scalp is kind of still baby skin that has not been exposed in a very long time. And then those hair follicles are inflamed because the reason they fall out is chemotherapy um, affects the growth of any cells that are constantly in, in um, proliferating. So it really um, affecting those so acutely, so abruptly, um, it isn't like the typical normal hair loss that's gradual, it's a little bit at a time. So this is inflaming those hair follicles and causing a sore scalp. I've heard painful scalp, the itching is very common. Um, so it, there isn't, there, the, the truth is there is nothing that's very specific to this symptom that's due to chemo. But I do suggest to my patients some things that are soothing to the scalp. This is not gonna be permanent. Um, and it typically gets better over time. This is just because it's acute. Um, it won't continue with every treatment the whole time you're under treatment. So let's stay assured that this is just at the beginning when the scalp, when the hair first falls out, there is this soreness, tenderness, exposure to the skin that has never been exposed to the outside. Um, so I typically recommend just um, oils like um, castor oil or a sweet almond oil. I mix it, I ask my patient to mix it with a little tea tree oil because sometimes if there is a, a little fungus or things that can cause dandruffs in the scalp, tea tree oil is a nice remedy for it, but only small, it has to be diluted. You can't use it completely concentrated directly on your skin, but diluted in other oils like the examples I give, and then you can use it on your scalp whenever you're home and, um, and not going outside and it helps soothe it. If the itching is a major problem and you're scratching yourself, a topical steroid cream such as clobetazole can be very effective, but it can be it should be used sparingly, only maybe twice a day for a few days in a row, and that should calm down inflammation and the itching. So I would use some soothing topical creams and, and oils, and then if necessary, a topical steroid cream could help alleviate that intense inflammation and itching.